Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another day of the video diary and how's it going today? Today we're off on another adventure. We're going back to Bristol in order to go and look around a place for me to potentially live in next year. This is a repeat of what I did the other day. <laughs> was it last week? Was it Thursday or Friday last week? Something like that. Um, God that feels like a long time ago. Couldn't have been. It was, yeah. Blimey. Um, yeah, it's a repeat of that, but this time we're going to go and look at the right building. Because <laughs> last time we went down, we organised a viewing at one building, walked into the other one, and they were like, yeah, yeah, sure, have a look around. <laughs> what the hell? So, uh, yeah, this one is, it's relatively expensive, not as expensive as the other one, by about, like, £150 a month. Um, should be very comfortable. It's a nice bridge between being on my own and being not on my own, and all of that, my gubbins, and I'm excited to go and look around it. Um, I've got a good feeling about it, I do. So, we're gonna be looking at a medium-sized suite and a large-sized suite. It is in like a, um, a building run by a company and stuff. Um, there's just a couple of things, boxes we need to tick, and then I'm basically happy with it. I just need to like it, make sure it's available during the times that I want it to be available for, and yeah, that's that. Because otherwise I am happy spending the money that I'm going to be spending on it. So, yeah buddy. Right, but otherwise this morning I haven't really done much because I've got to get up and go out early. Firstly, I'm wearing my shit coat because <laughs> I left my good coat in fucking Nottingham. Although to be fair, it'll probably be a bit too warm for my um, other coat because it's too long. But I've left my nice long coat in Nottingham like a dick. Um, and now I'm going in this crappy one because it looks like it's gonna rain and it has been raining the floor's wet and stuff so yeah otherwise though got up this morning had some breakfast got dressed all that shit usual shit sort out a video uh replied to comments and all that so that's good that's out of the way um and yeah and we're off for a bit of an explore we're not going to be as exploring as last time chances are I'm just gonna look around this place and then come back home to be honest with you I've got no other reason to be there I was gonna take my snooker cue and play a bit of snooker but I've got better things to spend my money on better things to waste my time with than that I think um, as much as I really really wanted to well a combination of that and the rain has kind of put me off I just kind of want to go back, go back home um, sit in a cafe Nero again and just chill out I don't know, you know what I mean? You don't know. I don't think I fancy going to go play snooker for an hour when I've got revision and stuff to do at home, basically. So I do have quite a lot to do these days. Again. <laughs> so really, we've got to stop the slacking, basically. In, a, in other news, I dreamt last night that I was a serial killer. There are no jokes to be had there. I think it's since I've been watching proper TV programmes on Netflix instead of YouTube videos all the time. Um, I think that has sent my imagination a bit mental. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. <laughs> so yeah. Right. <sighs> I was going to bring my big camera as well, but again, the weather put me off. So I'm going to have to use my thingy. Um, like I said yesterday, I'm using Twitter, Tumblr and stuff to post photos on the day. So if you want to follow those on Google+, Plus, if you want to follow them for like photo updates on my day, my version of Instagram that is there for you. Do you remember what I was saying about how I liked um, Bristol train station because it's, it's really energetic and it's just really really nice and you don't get that here. It's just boring. It's not helped by the gloomy, miserable, rainy weather either, which is going to put a dampener on proceedings today, but hey ho, what can you do? Well, oh, I hate this coat so much. God damn it. I've got this thing about um, coaches. Uh, not co coats. Not coaches. Um, I just don't like them. I really hate most coats. Um, usually because... It's actually quicker to go that way, isn't it? I've mistimed this. I'm on the wrong side of the road. I've just crossed for no reason. Very nearly just got like five people um, run over there. <laughs> that went well. Um, I was crossing the roundabout and um, the far lane from where I was stood, had a car going through, but there was like a big gap. So I started to walk as that car was still there. Then when that car moved out of the way, the people on the other side of the road then started to cross. 
and then friggin thinking the lights were going to go green or something and then uh, <laughs> like four cars just come racing around the roundabout and I'm just like oh you idiots what are you doing man anyway yeah I've got a thing about coats I hate them for the passion but I love my long coat because it's like really long it's really thin it makes me feel all powerful I just feel like a kid in this I do have a thing about coats I do like a good coat <laughs> um, but yeah otherwise I've just been thinking this is only my third time in this city it's only been the third time I've been here on foot isn't that mad and yet it feels like I've just it just feels like I'm at home it feels like a Nottingham but in the south it's exactly what it feels like it's just like Nottingham's been picked up and moved somewhere else as far as I'm concerned and I like that I do um, damn it rain <laughs> we're getting we're getting tree juice on us you know when you stand under a tree and it, you get wetter than you do if you're not under a tree? God damn. Almost there. The weather is a bit miserable though. It's getting well wet, isn't it? But yeah, almost there now. Don't know what I'm going to do after because it takes like 15 minutes to have a look around. But my family can come and see. We can show them. Good. It's a bit. I do like that one. That is nice. Um, I love it. Yeah. Cool. So, that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. The train station, the bus station is that building there. And I'm literally the other side of this building. The location's perfect because that's town as well. Like the middle of town as well. Um, the room sizes are big. Medium is livable. Large is huge. That is infinitely better value for money. Um, for 30 quid a week less, you're getting a room that dwarfs it and then for £10 for 20 quid a week less you get a room that you could easily split into two rooms if you really wanted it's so big the large one is I think it's definitely worth 40 quid a month slash £10 a week I think it's definitely worth that I don't know what I was thinking when I thought I oh, know I'll leave this morning wearing one white shoe the worst idea ever I don't know how people can live with only one pair of white shoes just one splash of water and they're fucking ruined fuck <laughs> I get so angry. Apparently, I've come quite a long way out of my way. I was thinking to myself, there's no point coming in just for a 15 minute viewing, decide I like it, then go home. Like, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a snooker place, which is up here, see if it's okay. Um, might think we're going to have a game, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, I haven't brought my cue though, because I don't really want to. Um, and then, what I'll do is, um, Instead of like going all the way back to Bath and having a Cafe Nero, <laughs> addicted, um, I'll have a Cafe Nero on the way back to the station and then time for a train that stops off in Oldfield instead of in Bath. I think that's my plan now. But I do like that. I'm going to show my interest when I get home by email and stuff. Just got hardcore trolled there. The uh, rain's slowing down. I've already ruined my shoe and my hair. My ch the gel's melting from my hair now. So, right. Back towards the train station, there's another one near here somewhere, which I'm going to go to. World Snooker, it's called. Either this, or it looks like we might have to go to the, um, like, barry, pubby one. If we want to play some snooker in the future. Which is alright, I guess, but it's not quite a snooker, it's not a proper snooker place. It's more like a pub with snooker tables in it. Which I'm not a massive fan of, but... If it's, your only, if it's your only option, you make do, don't you? You make do and manage. All in all, this trip has been uh, quite a miserable one. But, like I say, now it's quieter. I did really, really like that place. The large rooms are huge. It's literally about twice the size of the medium one. You could probably fit, yeah, that's probably true. You could probably fit two of the medium ones inside a large one. It's only £10 a week more. Only. And I could definitely use all that room if I really wanted to. Like, for videos and stuff. The desks are big enough to fit Atlas on, with ease. You can, the, we went to one room and the person's been there for three years. He's got like his own wardrobe and shit, but I assume, no, he wasn't there. I assume it was a she. Um, but, had like their own wardrobe, so I can definitely take like my own desk chair and stuff. It's not a problem. Oh man, I'm super, oh man, I'm, I'm super impressed. Bloody aquariums, man, they're everywhere. Oh, this is pretty. He uh, should put my camera now. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? It's like a great big metal ball. It's beautiful, that. That's beautiful. <laughs> ha! 
getting well annoyed at my shoes. <laughs> like every step I'm like, for fuck's sake. It's getting really angry at it for no reason. Um, <sighs> nearly there. Target is to be back in Bath by one o'clock um, because Dad's ringing me and also I do need to be back so I can get a little bit of work done before I go to work, work. And by work, I mean like, I don't think I'll be revising. I think I'll just, that was terrifying. Blimey. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be revising. I just think I'll be going over some survey stuff, work kind of things, um, clearing stuff out of the way so I don't have to think about it much anymore. Uh, basically relaxing, maybe even putting the deposit down on this place. Who knows? Oh, damn it, there was a building in the way just as I was about to pan. Let me show you the river. And there we go. Yeah. According to the map, this place is like a five minute walk away from Bristol Temple Meads. Which ain't bad. It's the other way around though. I'd prefer it to be five minutes walk away from my house than uh, Temple Meads, but hey ho. It means when I'm coming back from uh, uni in fourth year, I'll just have a cheeky game. <laughs> and I probably won't want to be doing that because lovely will be at home. But hey ho. But it also means that it's easy walking distance, relatively. Is snooker like some kind of underground fucking game in the south or something? Why are there no snooker places anywhere? Why the hell even is this place? I'm walking through some company's car park at the moment. Don't give one. Literally don't give one. Looking for a fucking snooker club. I get really annoyed. <laughs> I don't even know what company this is. But I want a snooker club, damn it. I thought, right, coming to Bristol, You'll have loads of snooker places. There aren't any in Bath, but there'd be loads in Bristol because there's loads of everything in Bristol. In Nottingham, I can, I can think of three different snooker halls that are all within 15, 20 minutes of my house. Here, I can't think of, well, I can think of one in an entire city, in the center of the city. That's madness. Calling bullshit, it doesn't exist. Is it like two fucking working class for the South or something? I thought it'd be really popular in Bristol and Bath, but no. <sighs> well, at least there's one in um, wherever it's called. Up the top near Tom Brown's and the university. At least there's that one. And when I go there, I can ask around and be like, hey, do you know it's somewhere better than this? I assume not, because you're here. But a proper quiet snooker hall instead of a franchise pub. Riley's it's called, I think. Unimpressed. Unimpressed, I am. Very unimpressed. Ah, anyway, let's get the fucking train home. We found somewhere to live, that's a good thing. I love that actually, I've had like a really good day. Found my, uh, where I'm going to be living next year. It's lovely, I really really like it. And um, I'm just annoyed because it's raining, I've ruined my shoe and I can't find a snooker hole. Ah, let's go, go right to Bath. God damn it. Look at this. Ugh. Bath, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, boys. We're back. Dad's ringing me in a bit. About 15 minutes. So, should we sit in and have a hot chocolate or walk back with it? Hmm. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> you know how the world is a cruel and heartless bitch? Well, <laughs> here's why the rain and my wet feet and no one getting to play snooker was a bad omen for today. Um, otherwise, just been home. Been looking at other places for uh, my um, place to live next year. Um, and trying to organize that place as a place to live next year. And yeah, but yeah, in a short time, I'm on my way to work. Um, and I've just had dinner. So I got home, tried to organize other stuff, just got off the phone telling Dan how awesome it was, how I really wanted it. Got on the, ringing them up, and I'm working through the process of like trying to book one for a summer letting and one for this. Um, firstly, the summer letting would start a week after I'm supposed to start at work, which isn't impossible. I could just tell work I can't get there until a week later, and then that's just really fixed, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, and then going through, finding out the dates and stuff for when I'd move in and all that, and then they're like, oh yeah, so you need to be out at this time, be back in at this time. So like you move from this room on this date to this room on this date, eight days apart. What do I do with all my stuff for eight days? You nut jobs. So that wasn't a possibility. There is a chance I'm on a list 
um, I say I'm on a list, they're going to let me know if something comes up. Um, because it's two different buildings, one of them has 44 week rents, one of them is just 51 weeks. So the one that's 51 weeks, that's the one that I want basically. Um, the one with 44 weeks has some alerts because obviously there's a couple of weeks when no one's in the room. Um, what they've done is, the building that I want to go to has said that if someone wants to end their lease early, and it does happen apparently, they just can't tell me when that would be, um, or predict in any way, shape or form. Uh, when, if that happens, slash when that happens, because they're certain it happens every year, um, they just can't predict when or def for definite. At that point they will ring me up and I'll be able to take that room over, I'll be able to take over the lease there and I'll be able to move in from the day that they don't want to be there anymore, which would be I assume mid-July, um, up until uh, September and then just continue a year's worth of rent from there. Um, that would be ideal, but it's a bit too unlikely, you know what I mean? There's not quite enough certainty there, so I've had to start looking elsewhere to find options and stuff. I've sent a few flying emails around, otherwise I've picked up a couple of people that I'm going to ring tomorrow. <sighs> what a fail. <laughs> what an absolute fail. So basically, it's now a race. Who can find a place first? Can they find me a room in their place? Or um, will I find a studio somewhere else. <sighs> Not fun. <laughs> Not fun at all. I wanted to just secure this. I was so excited thinking I was just going to be able to put money down and secure it today. No. And doing the summer letting, the initial outlay of that was going to be Im immense as well. Because I'd have to pay for everything in advance basically. Uh, but what can I say? Maybe get that place. Maybe not. Um, we'll see. Otherwise, I'm currently looking elsewhere. But at the moment, I'm on the way to work. I'm excited to go back to work, surprisingly. I actually quite like it at work. It drives me mad when I'm not there. It gives me something to do, which means now I'm back at work, I'll be able to actually be productive during the daytimes when I'm at home. Uh, it's very strange. I don't, I don't understand it, to be honest with you. That's why I'm able to predict that I'll do so much work um, next year. Um, just because when I have work, in actual scheduled work hours, my out of work hours are so much more productive. I don't understand why. I assume it's because I've got less time, I think. But for the past like four days, I haven't really been working too hard. But that will all be uh, as soon as I finish this shift, I'll be like, right, work. I don't know. It's just something. It sets my brain. I'm a worker, me. I like working. Um, shit. Sugar. Dun 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 dun. Uh, I was supposed to bring that letter. Fuck you. I don't think she's in today. If she's in today, I'm going to be angry as hell. Uh, I'll have to bring the letter down tomorrow. It'll be a good walk out of the house for a bit. Balls. Just got so much in my head. So much planned. Damn it. <laughs> I'll bring the letter tomorrow. It is dated today, but I'll bring it tomorrow. Balls to it. Um, but yeah, can't really. I've got like 10 minutes. Can't really be late on my first day back after Easter. So we'll see if anything's changed. Well, it was boring, <laughs> it turns out, um, but yeah. <sighs> Otherwise, yeah, nothing much to do, apart from the fact that it was just boring as hell. Um, weren't very busy in the slightest. Uh, so, yeah, boring, 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 boring. Otherwise, I'm in a bit of a bad mood. <laughs> I'm just a bit like beaten up over the whole housing thing. Um, so what I'm currently doing is making myself another hot chocolate. And then I am going to um, sit back and watch a film. I want to watch a film, but I'm watching Lie to Me at the moment. I feel like that's a bad idea. I think, <laughs> I think I should pick a film. There's too many films I want to watch on thingy. It's really weird that I should ever say that as well, because I fucking hate films. So for me to ever legit like a film and want to watch it, that's, that's crazy. But I'm even in a film with me. Come on, stop pissing about. So I'm making myself a hot chocolate and then having a cosy me night in front of some film or TV program or something on Netflix. <sighs> yeah. Part of me wants me to wants to watch a series of unfortunate events, and that's when you know I'm in a bad mood. Like when I'm ill, I watch a series of unfortunate events. Like on a loop.
that's my get better soon film. I don't want to watch that. God damn it. But I don't know. I don't bloody well know what I want in life. I was talking to Dad on the way home, and he's like, yeah, maybe, maybe this means that you'll get somewhere better. Um, you'll be able to find like a nice somewhere with like a separate living room and bedroom and stuff. I'm like, yeah, yeah. If you double my uh, budget, <laughs> I've got no, no idea. He's like, yeah, but maybe you can find like a really nice. He thinks I haven't actually looked elsewhere at other properties. That aren't. He's probably he's probably watching. Um, <laughs> it's probably not. Um, is it work and stuff? Uh, yeah, he thinks. It seems like he thinks that I haven't bothered looking at somewhere like this. But for one, they don't exist. <laughs> they do not exist. That's in in the slightest. Come on, hurry up, man. Um, so yeah, bless him, he's trying to help me, help me out, but I'm just feeling a bit defeated. It's very stressful. I like, I wanted this all organised ages ago. <laughs> I, I like things, I don't want this to be hanging over my head much longer than it is. But I also don't want to just rush into something. Ah, uh, so stressful. But yeah, I'm going to watch something on Netflix and drink this. So I'll catch you later.